Get it while it's hot. The dude mung is 3,000. What do you want from me? No more, kid. I'm excited today because today we are in the ARFA 1, HJC ARFA 1, and it's time to test it out to see how it logs. I'm a little excited and kind of nervous because I know there are some helmets that are literally just no uh, So we're going to give it a test out today and we're going to take the naked bike up to Red Top Mountain, uh, get some reels, get some pictures, and just enjoy the ride. It's about 52 degrees. I'm excited today because today we are in the ARFA one hjc r for one and it's time to test it out to see how it vlogs so i'm pretty sure you guys have by this time you should have seen the first clip which was in my alpha 11 pro let me know how this sounds compared to the alpha 11 pro uh, but let me let this warm up and then we will be on our way right. <laughs> My man tried just put a quick shift on here. And, oh, that thing feels good. It is butter. Uh, we're just going to pull over for a second real quick just to make sure <laughs> we're at least even getting some sort of audio. And then we're going to be right back at it. <laughs> that dude fucking 3000 is clicking. Oh, the, the visor wasn't even close. Okay, now the visor is close. <laughs> we're going to see. Now, I know this riding position is different than what you would necessarily have on a naked bike i mean excuse me on a sport bike so i have the camera angle adjusted down a little bit just to make sure the angle looks right but i know on a sport bike i'm gonna be in a more aggressive position so you kind of get lower so you kind of need to angle the camera back a little bit so uh, let's find somewhere to pull over real quick and uh we'll just at least make sure we're getting audio oh i love the sound of triples Woo! i hope that is coming through <laughs> because that thing sounds good as of right now, I think I have, I think all the vents are open. Yeah, I got all the vents open. I'm just, I'm trying to put it in the worst case scenario possible um, and see how that works. Cause if it could, if I can get it to work in the worst case scenario, then definitely I can get it to work, you know, with some, with some minor adjustments. I ain't gonna go too ham. Like I said, it's 50 something degrees out right now. So I gotta make sure at least these tires warm up before I start going ham. But y'all know me, man. My favorite test of the ground. I'm going to Red Top or I'm going to Brush You. I'm going to one of the two. <laughs> Cause we about to have some fun, bro. I was talking about uh, the Dude Monkeys 3000 and how much I love quick shifter and auto blippers. But, you know, on a bike like this, which doesn't have the auto blippers. Woo! I was saying the Dude Monkeys 3000 still works. <laughs> Money. So the Dude Monkeys 3000 is my ability to downshift the bike clutchlessly. Like I know you can, I know you guys might have heard of upshifts and uh, stuff like that, power clutches, you know, whatever you want to call it, um, when you're going up. But going down, you can do the same thing. So essentially, what an auto blipper does, I can do manually, you know, without any assistance. I'm just trying to get some speed on me, but this truck is literally just messing up everything. Uh, once this truck gets up a little bit, I will, uh, I will demonstrate how this works. Let me see if I can do this. No, hey, watch this. Oh, <laughs> oh that's funny. So that's my ability to downshift without using a clutch. Just rev matching. You can do it. Now, you can also get it very, very wrong. <laughs> this is uh, years of practice. So I'm just going to wait a second. Let them kind of get up a little bit. I'm trying to let that truck get up and get some space. Cause we about to come through some corners. We're trying to have some fun. All right, let's get to it. We get it even on the naked bike. Oh yeah. <laughs> I haven't been up here in a while. So I gotta take it a little easy because I haven't been up here in a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm definitely not gonna be going ham because what being on a naked bike is definitely different. Now, you know, gotta hit them bumps like a dirt bag, yacht. <laughs> yacht. So being on a naked bike is definitely, ooh, money that do much as 3,000 is money. But being on a decker bike is definitely different from uh, being on the sport bike. So I am definitely more comfortable with the sport bike position because this upright position 
makes the bike super nimble, but it feels top heavy, which is different because a sport bike, you almost feel like you're sitting into it. This, it feels like you're on top of the bike and it's, it's weird. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but <laughs> uh, I guess it's one of the things. I guess we will see how it sounds in traffic. <laughs> like I said, as of right now, all the vents are open. So if I could get it to sort of semi sort of work with this, you know, we'll we could, we'll be good. Right, let me close the vents and see if that makes it any better or any worse. Ooh, oh, now the vent is. I had the vent halfway open. It's all the way open now. Holy crap! Oh, that air is coming right on my, uh, right on the face eyebrow area. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Sorry, guys. I was trying to take you guys through and have some, uh, some heat elation. But, uh, it just, it's just not happening. not going wide. <laughs> That's all stuff you got to think about when you're on the bike, bro. You really got to hope the other person in the other lane can dig on drive. Oh, I forgot I left their front vent open. I guess we're going to see what this feels like with the front vent open. So if this still works with the front vent open, we should be, we should be money. We should be definitely be money because I totally forgot I had it open. to catch them. I always know when somebody passed because I will catch them before the end of this thing. Heck yeah. Oh, very nice. So let's get up the red top, man. Get a couple pictures. Um, and I think we'll be good. I think we will know by the time we finish this. Yeah, we're going to get or not. But something I am going to do before I finish this, we're going to get on the highway and test it out at Dude Mungus Cruising Altitude. Love red top, bro. Look at the boat. I see the boat. If I'm not mistaken, it's from Flash Tunes. There ain't his done his money. All right, it's time for this highway action. Let's see what happens. Woo! Y'all need to go. This is a merging lane. You need to merge, not be chilling. Wait, you gonna get somebody killed? Bro, it's the highway, high rate of speed way, <laughs> not chill way. <laughs> oh, I need to get Woo. Uh, we still haven't got up to Dumongus cruising altitude yet because we're in this amazing traffic. But I'm gonna see if I can navigate some of this so we can go ahead and get it uh, get it knocked out. It, uh, it should be a lot of wind noise though, um, but it's just um, I'm not at cruising altitude, so I don't know. And again. On my bike, this audio is going to sound much better and cleaner because at least I have some bearings to be behind and at least some wind protection. This is literally the most extreme test <laughs> you can do with the helmet and everything. So we're 
we're at 100 miles an hour. Head check. Feels fine. Helmet feels good. Uh, not as good as the piece, but it does feel good. Um, but, uh, yeah, so this is pretty close to Dumongous cruising altitude, but on a naked bike, you can only go so far because um, you're naked. <laughs> and you catch it every piece of the wind. I mean, every piece of it. How you doing? bike on the highway is like a fight, bro. It's like a workout. <laughs> you gotta have a strong core. Cause dang. Let me tell you something. All right, I'm gonna do this is for all helmet manufacturers. HJC, when you drop a helmet, drop all the accessories at the same time. I'm rolling around with this clear visor and I'm wondering like, why is my face so hot? It's cause the sun is beaming in on my face. That gun. <laughs> I'm over here clear visor McGee. <laughs> hilarious but uh this should be a good all-around test of uh what the heck is going on what the, what are you guys what are you doing this should be a good test of what's going on uh, yeah so we should know by this how the rest of everything is gonna go y'all tripping bro yeah y'all tripping bro y'all tripping now this is dude monkey cruising out the two <laughs> this is uh, the official of the Mungus cruising altitude. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, this is the most extreme of extreme tests you literally can have. A naked bike on a race helmet <laughs> with all the air at the bay. This, this, you don't get much more extreme than this. So if you can hear me on this, you can make out what I'm saying on this. It's going to be money on the Jigsaw on the back. But uh, I think that's pretty much going to be it. Uh, something I am going to do for you guys, because I love this triple so much, I am going to give you a pure sound episode. And I keep hearing this thing pop off. So I want to say it's shooting some El Flamo Tours out the back. But we will find out. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, that's all I got for you guys this episode. Uh, appreciate y'all rocking with me, man. You know who it is. It's your boy, Two Monkeys. Moon Chocolata. Thank you for watching, dude. No more No more Thank you for watching, dudes. No more all right, dude and dudes, we about to get out of here today. I don't have much time, so we gotta hurry up and get to it. All right, man, let me let you hear it, and then we go get started. Cause uh, Mungus got somewhere to go. I got, I have a gig tonight, and I, I gotta go play drums. For you guys that don't know, your boy plays drums. Ooh, 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 ooh.